Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the Civil Rights Movement in Tennessee, a narrative history. And of course, we have with us to talk about the Civil Rights Movement in Tennessee, the author of this book, uh, Dr. Bobby Lovett. Uh, Dr. Lovett is a professor in history at Tennessee State University. And of course, Dr. Lovett, let me uh, welcome you to the show this morning. Well, thank you, Dr. Haney. And well, and, uh, Dr. Lovett, to tell you how delighted we are to have you here, I think uh, most of our viewers will uh, be reminded that over the last many years that uh, you've been here on many, many occasions and mm -hmm. you've left them with uh, excellent information. I'm uh, reminded of uh, just one or two that you've done that will sort of fall within the same uh, category as what we're going to do today, and that is some kind of historical statement in reference to it. And I think that you've talked about the Declaration of Independence with us, uh, African Americans in the Constitution, and just about uh, mm -hmm. every aspect of uh, the American history experience centering primarily upon the African American. And I'm sure that with uh, what you're going to give us tonight, uh, to, uh, this morning, will be a continuation of that dealing with the Civil Rights Movement in Tennessee, your book dealing with the narrative history of that uh, movement. But before we get involved in that, Dr. Lovett, let's have you to give us some information about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important that eventually led you to write this along with many of the other books that you've written. And talk about those books as well. Okay. Well, I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm a graduate of Booker T. Washington High School. I did my undergraduate work at Arkansas Amen and and State College in Pine Bluff and went on to do my graduate work, master's, Ph.D. Uh, at the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville. Uh, I uh, taught school uh, in Memphis for about one year, returning home. Left there, went to Eureka College to start my college teaching career mm -hmm. in Illinois. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came to Tennessee State University in 1973, mm -hmm. and I've been there uh, since then. So mm -hmm. I've been at Tennessee State University going on mm -hmm. 33, uh, 33 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I really became interested in history because I'm from a very large family mm -hmm. that comes out of West Tennessee. And I grew up uh, in my early years, until I was about uh, elementary school, uh, living in a, a home that had four or five generations under one roof. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And some of the older uh, people in the family, like my great-great-uncle Julius, mm -hmm. uh, he uh, would always tell us all these tales about mm -hmm. West Tennessee and going back to slavery mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. And I think that sort of pricked my interest as a young three, four, sure. five-year-old child. And when I got to college, I eventually changed my major from engineering mm -hmm. uh, to history mm -hmm. uh, because it was just in me to be a historian. And I've been a historian ever since. Mm -hmm. And of course, you've been uh, very, very active in, 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 in your history, history career. And uh, we've talked about a number of uh, uh, books that you have written that you've talked about with us on this a particular show, uh, African Americans in Nashville, uh -huh. and some of the others. Let's talk about some of those uh, right. uh, books. Well, I've, I've been publishing articles and books since 1976, so I've, I've done a number of works. Uh, some of the most recent ones are the Profiles of African Americans in Tennessee, mm -hmm. published in 1996. Mm -hmm. The African American History of Nashville, published by the University of Arkansas Press in 1999. And this book, The Civil Rights Movement in Tennessee, a narrative history published uh, by the University of Tennessee Press mm -hmm. this last November 15th. Mm -hmm. And so in a real sense, Dr. Lovett, this, uh, uh, you were well prepared in terms of dealing with the Civil Rights Movement in Tennessee by some of these earlier profile information and et cetera. Is yeah, that what you're saying? Yes. Uh, uh, the previous publications and, you know, many articles, mm -hmm. encyclopedic uh, entries, mm -hmm. Uh, that I've done uh, mm -hmm. certainly helped me to gather a lot of information mm -hmm. that led to this book. However, uh, this book is really a new uh, feel for me mm -hmm. because most of my work centered on the Civil War, Reconstruction, mm -hmm. Slavery, mm -hmm. 19th century. Mm -hmm. And because it, this was needed mm -hmm. to cover the Civil Rights Movement in Tennessee, mm -hmm whereas few state studies exist. Mm -hmm. uh, you usually have a books on the civil rights movement and the whole style, mm -hmm. civil rights movement on individual leaders, biographies, and so on. Mm -hmm. So I took this stab uh, on this while mm -hmm. I was working initially on uh, mm -hmm. a piece on Avon N. Williams, mm -hmm. who was mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. civil rights leader in Nashville. Mm -hmm. And I decided it was time to do a whole book mm -hmm. so people would know where Tennessee fit into 
the whole civil rights whole movement. Civil rights movement. Right. Of course, Dr. Love, we, we're getting ready for our first commercial break. Uh -huh. After we come back, we're going to give you an opportunity to uh, talk about the civil rights movement uh -huh. uh, uh, in general and then uh, to, to sort of zero in on uh, the contribution that you made here dealing uh -huh. with the movement in the state of Tennessee from a local uh, historical uh -huh. A point of view. Okay. And of course, uh, we'll be back with our audience uh, following this very, very short uh, commercial break. <laughs> topic is the civil rights movement.